remember where you were when you heard you got the job? I was with Josh. Were you? Oh, yeah. Do you know this one? No. The first time I met Emma, actually, I was doing screen tests with, uh, I think, three or four potential Camillas. I turned <laughs> up, and when I walked in, there was Emma, who I'd never met before. She was brought in to, to read in for Diana just for the day, and uh, with everyone, everyone on The Crown fell in love with her. So that was the first time I met her, and, and yeah, we've obviously spent a lot of time since. Do you have a favourite location? Spain. Yeah, we were in Spain and it, it was right at the beginning of the shoot and the two of us and Richard Goulding, who plays um, Adine, um, the three of us just hung out all the time. It was really fun being in Spain, but also more because of the, all the extracurricular, like tapas eating. We had a really, really good time, ate uh, way too much tapas every day. I just remember us being, what was it, croquetas, Josh, that we... Croquetas. Ate it was lots so of much croquetas, fun. Um, croquetas, tapas, and it was great. We hired those scooters you can get in Europe that are just like, go... Did they the let you do that? And yeah, maybe we shouldn't have done that. Ah, I see, you didn't tell anyone. <laughs> no, I didn't tell anyone. Oh. Emma said that I was quite good at uh, advising about breakfast choices, so... Breakfast choices, really great at making me feel at home. Just like a lot of silly games, a lot of like... There you go. stories. Yeah, Josh has a lot of amazing stories, um, which True. is brilliant because like endless um, storytelling, which is very good for when you're on set and very good storyteller, very funny. And Ben had stopped playing the, the theme music for The Crown, which didn't work for me. Oh, that! Josh so, Mont was telling me about that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was the most. I ended up spending so much time with Josh that I <laughs> basically, I think I've heard all his stories. You'd meet someone like a new director and I'd like, on our first day or something, I'd look over and I could tell which story you were telling. <laughs> I actually had real back problems after series three. Oh, you had a toe problem as well, so I didn't know what I had a toe problem. <laughs> yeah. right. That's right. <laughs> Correct, yep. Yeah. I, I don't think Charles made me have a toe problem. No, the best bit is I remember Brilliant. us talking about what like would be your dream car and I was like, oh, I see what he's saying then Josh was like, Volvo. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a favourite person that you worked with on The Crown? You. Mm -mm. Well done. Well done. You. <laughs> Probably Josh. Yeah. Emma, I'm always here for advice. If you want any advice about anything. Yeah, I'll, I'll let I'm you know, here. Josh. Okay. <laughs> so I think we've been very lucky. We get on very well. And we're both quite similar. We're both quite silly. I think we're quite yeah. low-key people generally. There's been a lot of, like, silliness and games on set. What was the most memorable moment on set for you, Emma? Any moment with Josh, to be honest. Um, <laughs> we're such a time. Diana in the show, uh, in many scenes, is isolated. What, what what sort of support do you rely on? Where, where do you find the support? Yeah, it was. I really miss Josh <laughs> in those scenes. It was very funny because <laughs> we were together for so much of... Um, our filming. The Australian episode was a really important one, partly because it was the first time me and Emma got to spend a lot of time together and got this kind of became friends and got close on, on that episode. When's the last time you guys have seen each other in person? We saw each other like a week ago okay. and went to, oh, yeah. went to see a film with a mutual friend of ours. What's the weirdest thing that you learned about each other that you otherwise wouldn't have known? I they think we care. discovered oh, no. each other. Actually, oh no! Oh <laughs> no! Quite weird. <laughs> if it's past six o'clock, definitely. Oh yeah, if it's me. past six o'clock, Emma Corrin, useless yeah. to anyone. Just have this thing Honestly, where six o'clock. It's like hit. six o'clock, and and then some. And sometimes she would just have this kind of random spurt of madness. I thought you were going to say about in the makeup chair when me and Debbie, who does my makeup, and Amy, who does um, Josh's, were obsessed with <laughs> popping Josh's spots. <laughs> <laughs> any time, any time really he had weird. a spot. Emma and I went running. I, for some reason, was like, we're going to do 10K. I think we did like a 10K run and oh, I man. didn't put socks on. Did you guys go to see Tenet? I was just curious what the film was that you went to see. Oh, we went to see I Rocks, know, we, which was amazing. Yeah, which is oh. so good. Or, we could do um, Beck and Posh Spice. Yeah, that would be joke. And now we talk, it's like they do on the news. <laughs> you know like when the music's playing and they're oh, like, yeah. oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 you yeah, want yeah. the music to sort of drown yeah, out yeah, as yeah. weird like... Yeah, yeah.